On today's Jolly Carl Show, we have Prince Philip. He demands Princess Aurora, wake up, you're sleeping through our marriage. Let's get to the bottom of this, shall we? Prince Philip dies! <laughs> There he is. I didn't say stop clapping. You may be seated. I may be. Yeah. Good to have you on the show, Prince Philip. Why, thank you very much. So you told our researchers that you and Aurora used to have a fairy tale marriage. Oh yes, very much so. Very much so. It was a lovely, lovely, lovely marriage it was, yes. And we used to do everything together. Used to sing opera to the young animals, you know. <laughs> Attend magical balls, yes. We went to one last Thursday. Everything a young, happy married couple does, really. So why aren't you living happily ever after then? Well, uh, Aurora, she, she began to get quite, uh, you know, distant to the point in which we felt like strangers in our own marriage, you know? I mean, it got so bad that Whenever I tried to confront her about what was on her mind, she'd fall asleep. How convenient. Exactly. You know, just to get away from me, she used to sleep on average of 18 hours a day. Doesn't show me any affection anymore. I mean, it doesn't take much to pay someone a compliment, does it? <laughs> pay me a compliment. You're very handsome. Thank you. See? Right, so you thought you'd get her out here on the Johnny Kyle Show to finally confront her and find out the secret that has been ruining your marriage. Correct. OK, well, let's get her out here on the show then, guys. Welcome Sleeping Beauty to the Johnny Kyle Show. <laughs> This is what I have to put up with on a daily, daily basis. Oh. What's going on? Wake her up! Fine, I'll kiss her. Oh no, you're not putting me through that again. <sighs> Frosty. Welcome to the show. Hi, Johnny. Love your show. Johnny, Who doesn't? Johnny, Johnny. Anyway, you've got a secret that you need to tell Philip. Well... The truth is, Johnny, I've never really loved Prince Philip. <gasps> it was all too fast, Johnny. On the Monday you kissed me, you broke the spell by Tuesday. On Wednesday we were wed. I didn't even know your name till Thursday. <gasps> You're embarrassing me in public! Huh? So you thought you'd wait? To I'm on the Johnny Kyle show before you told me the truth, is it? Oh, yeah, oh, no, no matter about the brunch we had earlier. You could have told me then. Oh, no. Oh, well, what about the magical ball we was at last Thursday? Oh, no, no, don't tell him then. Wait until he's in front of the national public. Yes, that's when I should tell him. That's when I should tell him. Oi! Maybe if you actually gave her a chance to speak, she might actually tell you why. Now, button it. <sighs> Johnny, Thanks, Johnny. Johnny, 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 Johnny. Tell me then. Fine. You really want to know? I've been seeing someone else. Oh. <laughs> you what? You want to end our marriage so you could go out with some simple-minded amphibian? Well, he's a very well-connected toad. Right, I am just about sick of you. You swan out here thinking just because you got money, you can buy everything. Well, you can't buy this princess because she ain't for sale. Now get him out of here! No, I'm not going anywhere. I ain't got a bone to pick of you. You can't afford this jacket. This jacket is worth... Right. Now that's sorted, who's next? 